Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to the logical journey of the Zumbinis. For this episode, we'll be showing off the algorithmic solution for the mirror machine on Very Very Hard. Which in many ways I consider to be easier than Very Hard. And the reason is precisely because you have to work with two Zumbinis at once, this actually makes narrowing down the filters a lot easier because the algorithm tends to give you much easier solutions. So for this one, this guy needs to have his feet changed to match theirs, so we've got a roller skate there. But we also need to make everyone's eyes and hair match. So if we put eyes and hair there, eyes and hair match, all we have to do is put the roller skate on that side. As we can see, the roller skates are going to match for all Zumbinis, the nose is going to match for all Zumbinis, the eyes are going to match for all Zumbinis, and as will the hair. <laughs> It makes double checking a bit harder, but generally speaking, you're not going to get any insanely convoluted filtering that you need to do in order to make everything work. It's usually pretty simple steps that you have to take. Alright, their feet are going to match, their noses are going to match, we just need to make their eyes and hair match. Excellent. Well, that's easy! <laughs> See, stuff like that happens a lot more on very, very hard, as opposed to very hard. And as a result, this usually goes by twice as fast, because you only have half the amount of filtering to do. Alright, we need to make this guy, these guys have pink shoes, now we need to make these guys have a purple nose. Oh look, a purple nose and a flashing filter, and because everyone's hair on this side is the same, we know the flashing filter is going to affect everyone on that side exactly the same way. So this is actually going to work. And it'll be that exact same zoom we need for both of these. Flashing filters are a lot more uh, uh, intimidating on Very Very Hard, but just remember, they're usually very simply used on this difficulty. Alright, their feet are going to match, their noses are not going to match, we as a result must put this on this side, so now we need to make their eyes and hair match. Oh look! Looky there! See? More often than not, it'll just be, you find the identical filter, put it on each side, double check to make sure everything works. <laughs> And we're already halfway done. Alright, everyone's feet matches. Their nose does not match, their eyes don't match, but their hair do. So we need their hair do? Get it? <laughs> that was dumb. Anyhow. Alright, we need to make their nose a match, and we need to make their eyes match. Okay. Well, that makes their noses match. Now we just need to make their eyes match. Problem are these flashing eye filters. That'll change them into a cyclops. That'll change these guys into glasses. Hmm. Okay, alright. So, if we do that, their hair is all going to match. We don't touch the hair. We can't touch the hair. Uh, both of these girls have sweepy eyes, so those will both be filtered as glasses. The, these guys are going to have glasses. They're both going to have noses. They have the same color nose, so that's always going to get reflected as orange, which in turn will always get reflected as red. Cool. So that one was a little tricky. But this is why we have double checking. And why it's so important to double check everything. My hat's off to the uh, the programmer who made the algorithm for this puzzle. Alright, their feet are always going to match. Their nose is not, their eyes are not, but their hair is. Alright, so we just need to change their nose. So, flashing nose filter, it's gotta be on that side. Cool. That gives them still sunglasses, which will always be sunglasses. And their nose is going to get reflected both times. We can't check it, but that's the only option we have. So their nose is going to be the same, their feet are going to be the same, eyes are going to be the same, hair is going to be the same. Yeah! Two filters for the win. That's the one annoying thing is if there's only one flashing filter and you can't check to see how it's going to affect your next zoom mini, that can be daunting. But at that point you can always look it up. You can always look up the pattern that the filtering is going to change. Alright, feet are going to match always, nose are not going to match always, eyes are not going to match always, and hair is not going to match always. Cool. Well, this will make their nose and hair match, so now we just need to change their eyes, I suppose. Uh, I don't know what normal... 
normalized do get filtered as a Cyclops. We've seen this in the past. So that... Well, pair's going to be the same. Yeah, that'll do it. Yep. That can always be a little scary. <laughs> like, just being like, oh, filter. Please filter in the way I think you're going to. All right. Nose and feet are going to match. Eyes and hair are not going to match always. So what we can do is, on that side, we give him bald hair, but then we put this in front. And in that way, we have just changed it so that their eyes and hair are always going to match. So pretty simple. I can, I still consider that to be easier than very hard. Anyhow, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time for more algorithmic solutions to Zumbini puzzles, as well as heuristic solutions. Hope to see you then. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless.